Hi everyone, it's Jo from Plan to Create and welcome back to my channel and those that are new here. How you going? Welcome. Uh, going to do an unboxing and play around with a bit of a setup um, of something new for me. So we've got two boxes here. One is from Planner Perfect and one is from Gilio. Now I've cut the tape and the box has gone a bit weird so we'll put that one aside for the minute and we'll get into this one. Okay so uh, they're designs by Planner Perfect card. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, plan, journal, create, write a better story. So you could use that as a tip-in or journaling card. And then um, one of their little cards that if you get their subscription box, you get um, a few of these in the in the box and they're to be used for tip-ins and journaling, etc. And so under here, I understand why, but it annoys me because it gets everywhere this packaging. All right get that out of the way and in here I have three standard size inserts now the artwork on these is by uh, designs by Planner Perfect uh, she paints them herself so I wanted to try them the shipping's quite expensive to Australia so I don't know how if I'll order from them again, but um, the covers are like, they almost feel like a canvassy sort of um, material, quite thick. So I got a monthly uh, and I got that to start in October and goes through till September uh, next year because I wanted to be able to sort of start it um, straight away I could have actually asked for September I didn't realize that um, the shipping was quite good it was quite quick so uh, I wasn't expecting to get it as quickly but that's okay so the way that their books work is you get your monthly and then you get four blank pages now you can nominate um, when you order to get uh, grid, lined or dotted I believe because uh, these are made to order so but I just went for blank so there's the four blank pages and then your next month and that goes on until the end and you still get your four so you've got your, the last month will be September next year and then there's just a couple of extra blank pages at the back so that's that one and then these two are just plain uh, journals um, I just love the artwork on them so this one here is just plain just a plain notebook now their paper uh, I'll have to do some pen tests on it but it is quite thick this why the um, the books are quite chunky um, but I've heard that the quality is quite good it seems to have a bit of texture to it so it'll be interesting to see if it's toothy when um, writing on it and this one here I got grid grid pages so I will be using obviously monthly for months uh, and one of these at a time for weekly and daily planning. Okay, and for those, I bought something for them to go in. So I'll get rid of all this packaging. Okay, I got uh, this from the Good Deals Corner, um, not the Good Deals Corner, Premium Good Deals 
because uh, if you're unfamiliar with Gilio, they have their first quality, their premium good deals, and then a good deal section. So the premium good deals, they only have tiny imperfections, and most of the time it's very difficult to actually find them. So here we go. If I can get the lid to come off. Okay. Oh, I can smell it already. Okay. So what we have here is their new uh, Giramondo Deluxe in the colour Burgundy. And it's not normally a colour I would think of. Um, but I have seen quite a few online. It's sort of, it's coming up on camera a little bit more red than it is in real life. Um, but I I really love the way the Apoca leather um, patinas. So, yeah. But it looks, it looks pretty good. I can't really see anything on the outside anyway. And on the inside, I've just, I got this um, colour pen because I wanted to give this one to my husband. So, um, yeah. Alright, so the inside we have, uh, well, you have six strings. So if I can just grab the top ones, there's two on each. And then you have some sort of, they're secretarial pockets, but they're very, um, high so it's almost like a full slip pocket doesn't have a back pocket large back pocket um but one two three four five six seven eight on each side uh card slots and a pen loop on both sides so you can have two pens um and it can hold quite quite a bit so i'll pop these all three of these books in just to see what it's going to look like. And these books, as I said, they're quite, they're quite chunky books. They're really substantial. Um, okay. All right, so, oops, we'll remove that. And as you can see, I've still got um, room for more inserts. Um, I won't be using all three of these together. I'll be using two. Um, so I'll just actually take one out and have a look what that looks like. So as you, yeah, as you can see, I've got plenty of room um, so I can stuff the pockets and um, the cards and so forth. Uh, so this is their new, um, their latest edition uh, because as it's called, it's the deluxe version. Uh, so you get more strings um, and more card slots and the pockets here are higher. Uh, so yes, I wanted to try standard and also something that I could use for an on the go, like a wallet to just have cards that I don't need all the time, but you need to put them somewhere. So um, yeah, but so that's what I'm going to start with uh, those inserts. But what I'm also going to do, I recently ordered a new a5 Stellagy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to Officeworks and I'm going to slice off that bit there and that's going to be another option for me for the standard so I'll cut this down to a standard size got this idea from Mod Plans on um, Instagram she also has a YouTube I'll try and link her down below um, that's what she's been using and I really liked the idea because um, everyone loves their Stalogies but I thought 
you know what a great idea now I have cut a number of notebooks down before I've cut Hobonichi's down to B6 size um, so I've got no issues cutting this down and as you can see you lose sort of a couple of inches off but it's not too bad so and that in here like I'll still be able to get that closed once I've had that cut so um, I might end up using just the monthly and the Stalogy. Uh who knows but that's the plan anyway so that's that and then I have a couple of bits and pieces that I'll pop in this is needs a clean actually it's I've had it for a really long time this is um, a zip pocket and double sided sort of dashboard type thing I think this is it was Maduri when I um, purchased it so it's a travelers um, travelers company and this one here is a foxy fix um, dashboard that I will decorate and put in I've also got a notebook here um, from Penguin Paper Company on Etsy which is uh, Tamoe River Paper uh, and it's a cream colour so that's another option I've got for another notebook. I might turn this one into a reference book or I might turn this one into a reference book I'm not too sure yet um, but yes so that's the new addition to the planner family and so I'll be using that alongside my personal sized Mia Cara and for next year what the plan is at this point is I will be purchasing uh, some basics planners and popping them in here uh, I haven't ordered them yet so they've been in my cart for half the year I reckon so um, I just need to pull the pin and purchase them uh, but because I waited so long they're now on pre-order again so I'll order those and um, there's going to be two books and I'll be able to pop them in both sides and this will have plenty of room uh, for those so that's the plan at this point is to use both of these alrighty Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you with another video very soon. Bye.